Okay, uh, it is time. Okay. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to our picture biography of Master Empty Cloud. My name is Hung Shur, and it is Saturday, December 2nd. And when everybody moves their chairs, it sounds like thunder, so don't move. We're in a brand new venue and a brand new time. Welcome. 各位欢迎欢迎参加我们虚拟老和尚化妆的讲座，欢迎今天在澳大利亚是星期六，十二月初二日，在加州是初一啊。Welcome to December. We're in the middle of Sagittarius. We have a a new audience here, a live audience. I haven't lectured these stories to a live audience. Uh, back in the day when Sam and Cliff used to hang out in my room at five a.m. That was the last time we did it. So to get us started today, let's invite Paul to request Dharma. And we'll put this up on the screen. Here we go. One second, Paul, be right with you. OK. There we go. All righty. Uh, Paul, if you'd like to request Dharma, please do it now. Gong Ching Da De Sung King Wei Tsi Su Will the Sangha with great virtue out of compassion for the sake of this assembly and all living beings please turn the wonderful Dharma will to teach us how to live suffering and attain bliss and embers and death and quickly realize numbers. Namo tasa bhagavato arahato sama sambuddhasa. Namo tasa bhagavato arahato sama sambuddhasa. Homage to the blessed noble and perfectly enlightened one. Homage to the blessed noble and perfectly enlightened one. Namo sadanto suchedoye alahudi sammyao sambutoshe. Namo sadanto suchedoye alahudi sammyao sambutoshe. Wu shang shen shen wei miao fa. I chen wan jie nan zao yu. Wo jin jian wan de shou shi. Yuan jie ru lai zhen shi yi. Supreme and wondrous Dharma, subtle and profound. Rarely is encountered, even in billions of eons. But now we see and hear it and accept it reverently. May we truly understand the Buddha's actual meaning. Okay, Shifu Shangren, Gowei Shishong, Aja Amitofo, Venerable Master, Dharma friends, welcome again. Um, we are sitting in the library at the Gold Coast Dharma Realm, uh, former Buddha Hall, and before that it was the dining hall. And we're looking at a big, beautiful computer monitor on the wall. We've got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, about 20 folks here live, which is exciting for me to uh, 
be able to bring these stories to a live audience. And also, I would like to tell everybody here uh, that there are currently 77 people online and the Vietnamese community has another uh, 30 some. So we've probably 100 people listening. Um, and we want to acknowledge country and say that now this here, here's the funny uh, geopolitical realities of this, which is that um, this lecture series began in Berkeley, California, and we were lecturing for friends in Europe uh, years and years ago. Since then, we've lectured a number of texts. Uh, now we're explaining the picture biography of Master Empty Cloud. And so the acknowledgement of country used to happen in Berkeley. Uh, and so we would say the Pomo people, the uh, no, the uh, Ohlone people, Chotesna Ohlone people, who were the Native Americans in the Bay Area there. Um, so now we complicate it because I'm physically in Australia uh, and we have a toss up. Should we acknowledge country here or Berkeley, California? How about here? Let's, let's try here. Okay. Now we acknowledge country. We respectfully acknowledge Kombumeri people of the Ugambi language region as traditional storytellers and custodians of the land where the monastery is located. We pay our respects to their elders, past, present, and emerging, and to all First Nations people whose sovereignty was never ceded. Uh, bell sound will wait this time, not to that. But I did want to say that uh, uh, Paul, who we heard requesting Dharma as if he were right here with us, is in Pinole, California, which is uh, north of San Francisco. Furthermore, uh, Ben is here from Majraba, and Melissa is there from the South Bay. Brian is in Campbell, California. Celeste is in Hong Kong. Claire, don't know. Connie's in Sunnyvale. David is here. Duke Levin from Montreal, Quebec. They say La Belle Province de Quebec, the beautiful province of Quebec. Edna is here, Round Rock, Texas. Hayo, Beijing, Negabuzai, Texas. Let's see here, Jinan Fajia, GCDR, that would be Cliff. Welcome, somebody, or Sam, Sam's here, okay. I'll just wave, you can you can shake your computer and wave that, there we go. Okay, Kohong is here, translating into Vietnamese, appreciate it. Jade is here, Jane from Berkeley, Jennifer from Los Altos. Dr. Vu from Seattle is here. Kevin on the Gold Coast, uh-huh, Reedy Creek. Okay, where else, let's see here. Uh, Lewis and Christine, I'm not sure where they are. So, woman, but I sure, huh? Rugo, go away. Yao, Niman, so it's ID. Take a woman, Kui, Ren, sure, should I take a ditch or twin or door, door, shall. Nani Joya, say, nigger, Zoom, nigger, participants, Nani, do Kui, Jia, Niman, say the defunct. Uh, uh, so, if people who are now watching don't mind, uh, we'd appreciate it if in the participants drop down menu of your Zoom software, add your location. It becomes a smaller planet, planetary village when you do that, a warmer place to be. We can have relationships then. Okay, Lynn is here from San Rafael and Lotus. Uh, Lotus might be from, I'm not sure. Uh, Loy is here from Singapore. Maya is here from San Francisco, St. Petersburg, Florida. Okay, there we go. May, Monica. Monica is, I believe, in LA. Uh, let's see, or San Mateo. Uh, Nancy and Aaron are in Sydney, Mesa, Arizona. Okay, where else here? Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Welcome, welcome. San Jose, uh, Santa Clara, San Ramon, Seattle. Pretty soon we switch over. Okay, Lucy, let's see. Venerable Yao Che is in Luoyang, Hunan. Uh huh. 
Vera is in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Uh, Viet DRBA, Willie's in Virginia. Jen is in San Rafael. Hi, yo. Uh, Hubei Okay, Okay, This print is too small, really, for my eyes. Okay, Shanghai, Shenzhen, Shanghai. Ah, Okay. Welcome everybody. Glad that you're here. Thank you for joining. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Minchu says, "Wo shi Dongbei ren." Ah ha ha. Dongbei ren bu zai Dong. Na Dongbei ren zai Shanghai bu suan. Ah. Wu xi wu xi. Okay. Hala. Okay. So, what are we about, and why would a young person? We were really hoping that there would be young families here. And why would they be interested in this lecture? Because it's stories, really, really good stories. Um, stories that, that looking at who is here in the room with me, these stories are very relevant to our lives. Woman 就会发生一个作用啊你们知道这个字叫因为叫myth 次训需要知道这么多才能把我们的人类向前进一步没有这些知识这个知识恐怕我们的人生没有这么高的价值了所以myth就是这么重要重要所以我看看那么我讲的是什么当然是出家出家 Photo两千五百年的生团，这个地球上最长远的一个社会. So, okay, the power. Why? Why do I think stories are so important? It's because they carry a power. Stories have the power to teach us um, our values as human beings. It's a mistake to hear the word myth and think it means just a made-up story. Um, it's mythical, means doesn't exist in reality. Well, that is one meaning, but that's not the important part of myth. The power of myth is because these stories go deep in our hearts and they carry with us the instructions that we need to become humans, to become members of our tribe, to become uh, citizens in a community. And finally, it gives us 
the, the way to live a life that when life ends, we say, I lived well. That's all in myth. And the Chinese civilization has myths. Western civilization has myths. The Greek civilization, Egyptian civilization, the African civilization, all of those ancient, ancient stories that carry the meaning. When we look into these stories of Master Empty Cloud, these deep, deep stories click, they connect. And it's like a key unlocks in the door. The door opens up. And we step through and we learn something. And the one that comes alive today is what? Leaving home. Oh boy. Why is that relevant? Because we have three Buddhist nuns here today who have done that thing. They've been able to leave the home life. In fact, one of the nuns here today who I will not name is the newest director, the board of directors of Dharma Ram Buddhist Association. Congratulations to the unnamed Bhikshuni. That's quite wonderful. So uh, that's people who lead our association forward. So Joshua, leaving home, especially if you're a woman, is a big, big step. And we will look into that. Uh, Nirun Okay. Enough of playing around. Let's bring the story up. Take a look. Right here, let's see, that's the one I want. Okay, what is cool about these is there's Chinese and English. There's dates, we can date it accurately. There are pictures and there's poems. Now, I also want to say, uh, before we start, people remember, browser DRBA Chinese DRBA Chinese.org Go down to Chita right there. Everybody see that? So I'm directing you to a website. The website is DRBA Chinese. When you go to DRBA Chinese, you look on the menu here. Of course, you have to read Chinese before it works for you, but I'll count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Go down to number seven. Click on that. And here is all of Shifu's lecture texts while he was in America. How cool is that? Nicely laid out for you. This is sutras. Go down to the next one, which is other, other. And halfway down, you see Master Empty Clouds picture biography, where it divides into two. Right there it is. Right there. Zhong Ying, Chinese English. You want the first one. Click on that. And here's the intro. Click. Go up here to the corner to where it says index, table of contents. Click on that. 
Oh, there they are. Every page, nicely laid out. The translations are pretty good. Um, we've been changing a couple of them, not a whole lot. Um, you go to the last one, and then you up here in the corner, it says next. Next. Right there. That's where we are today. That's our story. And there's the English, right? So I'm saying you don't have to wait for me uh, to explain it. Anytime you want to read ahead, read the whole thing, or listen to any of Shurfu's, read any of Shurfu's lectures, they're all there. So, you know, it's just that you have to be done, sing to you, so, Bashi Gaini Jesha, Ni Sui Shi Sui Di to Kui, Zi Di Chu, Kan, Sha Ye, Sha Ge Gu Shi, Jo Zhong Wen, Ying Wen. Okay, Ching Chu Ma, how to find it, Ni Men Do Zhi Da, Zem Me Chao, right? You can find it on your own. Okay, here it is. Are we ready? Look, 1864, the American Civil War was almost done. It ended in 1865. Um, Master Empty Cloud was 25 years old when the American Civil War was still being fought. Uh, the topic is Zhen Shu Yi Chi Jia Chu Jia. His relatives also leave the home life behind. Okay, let's expand it here. Okay, are we ready? Here we go. Anybody wants to read along with me? You're welcome. You can improve my Chinese when I make mistakes. There we go. Oh, like. Gong Fu Huan Xiang Ho breathe. Nian Qi Zao Sang. Yi Yi Tao Wang. Yo Huan Cheng Bing Er Shi Shi. Shu Mu Wang Shi Shou Tsi Ji, Sui Shui Er Xi, Chu Jia Wei Ni, Wang Shi Fa Ming Miao Jing, Tian Shi Fa Ming Zhen Jie, Tan Shi Fa Ming Qing Jie, Yi Xin Chan Hui, Duo Sheng Ye Zhang, Shi Qi Ran Yuan, Qiu Wang Ji Le Jian Mi Tuo. Okay, there it is. Now let's uh, do the same thing. When we get to the comma, we pause. There's a breath. When we get to the comma, we pause, take a breath. Period, pause, take a breath. White space. Before we get to the next one, pause, take a breath. Okay. We listen, use our ears to listen to our neighbor. That way it sounds really nice. E call Tung Yin. Here we go. After the master's father returned to Xiang Xiang, he brooded over the early death of his first wife, and he grieved for his son's leaving home. These melancholy thoughts led to illness, and he departed the world. The master's stepmother, Mrs. Wong, was touched by his death and led the master's two wives to leave home as bhikshunis with her. The master's stepmother, Wong, was given the Dharma name Miao Jing, wonderful purity. His wife, Tian, was named Zhen Jie, true purity. The Dharma name of his wife, Tan, was Qing Jie, pristine chastity. They single-mindedly repented of their karmic obstacles from many lives past, let go of the threads of defilement and sought rebirth in the land of ultimate bliss in order to see Amitabha Buddha. Okay, so um, what's going on here? Let's look. There it is, right there. Okay, so people who are new to this must go, wait a minute, wait a minute. We're talking about a monk and he had two wives, not one wife, but two wives. One wasn't enough. No, you have to understand. Um, the, the story begins with the death of his father. 
um, Master Empty Cloud had a very, you could say, difficult relationship with his parents. His mother died in childbirth. Oh, so he forever, he always thought that his arriving in the world was the reason his mother left the world. How sad. And his father was uh, an official, he was a government servant, civil servant. And he wanted his son to be a uh, member of society, carry on the family name, of course. But the son did not want to do that. The son wanted to cultivate the way. The son had a Tao, Xin, a mind for the way. So his father was always struggling with the boy, trying to get him to, uh, to wake up from his dream of becoming a Buddha, which from the father's point of view was nonsense. So Empty Cloud, as a boy, ran away twice. Father pursued him twice, brought him back. Then he thought, here's what I'll do. I'll marry him off. So at an early age, he was betrothed to not one but two young women. The second one, because of his brother's uh, betrothal to the woman who then he couldn't follow through. So compassionately, he agreed to bring wife number two into the family. The parents did not know that he agreed with his two wives to be married in name only. He said, we will stay pure. Uh, I'm not going to uh, be your husband. I'm going to become a monk, he said. So uh, that was the deal he made. Sure enough, number three, he ran away a third time and went so far out on the mountains that dad couldn't find him, couldn't chase him any further. So uh, at that point, he father gave up. He left home. But you know, his dad was really brokenhearted about his son. So that's the last we heard about the wives. Now comes this episode. We discover that there's more to the story. Rugo,我相信会长中文的人,你们参加过这个讲座呢,你们都清楚,是那和尚他那个背景,就说他的母亲就生产孩子,他这个未来的是那和尚就就难难生了,母亲就不幸而往生了。所以是那和尚他就心里挂着那个念头我来的是我母亲逼着我母亲而走他有这种的这个很重的负担然后父亲呢父亲就希望儿子会成名立家就继续他们的家庭的这个姓名了是那和尚他生了就生就生出了家修
So the story goes, um, yep, here we go. Story goes that um, uh, Master Empty Cloud's dad now went back home to where? To Hunan. Xiangxiang is in Hunan. And his first wife had died in childbirth. And his second wife, um, let's see, his first wife died in childhood. And he also grieved her passing. And then his son turned out to be a big disappointment to the dad. And so he kind of brokenhearted. He just died. Interestingly enough, nothing is said about Master Empty Cloud being filial to his dad. Uh, he has bitter feelings about for his father. So his second, his stepmother, Master Empty Cloud's stepmother, the second wife to his father, um, because her husband died, and these two um, brides uh, who are missing their husband, who is now a monk, she talks to them, and they all decide to leave home. Uh, they got the Dharma name Miao Jing, wonderful purity, the Dharma name True Purity, and the Dharma name Pristine Chastity. Uh, and then it says that they cultivated, right? What do you do? You cultivate your karma from the past. You let go of defilements, any bad habits. You don't bring those with you into the Sangha. They turn their face towards Amitabha and the Western land and cultivate the way. So that's what we know about them. 就说,他的应该,他的应该,他的应该,他的应该,他的应该,他的应该,他的应该,他的应该,他的应该,他的应该,他的应该,他的应该,他的应该,他的应该,他的应该,他的应该,他的应该,他的应该,他的应该,他的
in monasteries and they asked all the left home people, tell me why you left home. What was your reason? And some of them honestly said, I left home so I wouldn't starve. There would be food on the table. Okay. Another percentage said, well, uh, I was brought to the monastery as a child. I was an orphan. I've never thought of anything else other than being a monk. That's all I know how to do. Okay. There's another percentage that said, honestly, I'm avoiding debt, although that's not supposed to be legit. Others said, I'm avoiding the army, although that's also not legit. Nobody leaves, you can't leave home if you're a criminal. Um, that's, that's in the rules. Um, but as you look at those reasons, you realize, wait, wait a minute, I thought monks and nuns left home to, to end suffering and attain bliss, to uh, become a Buddha, to cross living beings over. In fact, according to the surveys that, that were done, um, probably 15% uh, left home for the Dharma. And the other 85% had a variety of those reasons. Now, those surveys were done with monks. When it comes to nuns, it's even harder to um, get the you know, to to feel like leaving home is purely what you wanted to do because you were inspired to cultivate the way. When it comes to our teacher, Master Shrenhua, this is not the case. It's a different story. Uh, today, we had our big uh, annual Sangha meeting that we have, and there were uh, 100 plus nuns and 20 plus monks. Five times more women leave home following Master Shrenhua uh, because why? Shurfu inspires the Bodhi resolve. The way our teacher interpreted the Dharma, and you can see the way Master Empty Cloud interpreted the Dharma, you leave home to cultivate the way. And you're not going to leave home because of good food. We eat once a day. <laughs> Uh, we, uh, you know, sometimes give up all personal wealth entirely. We, uh, DRVA is famous for being bitter. Cool, cool. And yet, if you look at the, the faces of the monks and nuns who live that way, they don't look unhappy. They don't look miserable. In fact, there's a certain light about people who can turn bitter into sweet. So uh, from the outside, it seems, oh, who could possibly live that way? Once you're inside, you realize, wow, there's no other way to live because you take the, the essentials, the food, the clothes, the shelter, down to the basics, and then you add the Buddha's voice in the sutras, and you add the flavor of dhyana, chanya weishu, and the monks and nuns, uh, Master Hua's tradition, are, uh, if you ask them, why'd you leave home, you would get a very different response. Many people would say, because I want to uh, follow the Bodhisattvas in the Avatamsaka Sutra, because I want to meet uh, Manjushri Bodhisattva in the Pure Land, and I want to translate these sutras so my family can read them and get enlightened, you know. So interesting. Here is a story. Look at these three women. They left home, why? What else? No men, no husband for three, both the elder generation and the two young women. So leave home because why not, right? There's not much here that's inspiring. And when you go to China, I, we were just there looking at the, um, the Sangha and we saw, I think, three nuns out of about maybe four nuns out of 300 monks. Um, the, the idea of enlightened feminism 
has not arrived in the Chinese Bhikshuni Sangha. Uh, Taiwan, not so. Uh, there, there, we do know some powerful nuns in China, some excellent nuns in Tianjin. Uh, there are a few convents that are very vigorous and, and people all respect them. But this is not unique to China. When you go to Thailand, there are no Thai nuns. When you go to Tibet, there are no Tibetan nuns. <laughs> So the fact that you can leave home as a nun in China is already quite wonderful. Taiwan has extremely vigorous, successful, powerful Buddhist nuns. Um, we won't go there right now, but just to say, uh, City of 10,000 Buddhas under Master Hua's inspiration is a place where women can say, here is my career. I am a translator. I am a, a builder. I am a, an educator and I want to do it in a Buddhist robe, cultivate the way and do use my talents to benefit the world, to leave home and become uh, a light for the world. So this is, this is interesting to reflect on our story here. It uh, seems kind of sad, you know, and this is the truth of Master Empty Cloud. Uh, his mother died at childbirth. His father felt like his son was a total failure. And so he left behind these the three women of his personal family, and they were able to find a home in the Sangha to cultivate the way. So this is, uh, if you flip it over, you realize, wow, there, there are countries, Buddhist countries in the world where women cannot do what these three women have done. 就说因为生产孩子就就死了然后爸爸对于孩子非常呃绝望的就觉得他的儿子完全是等于零了然后他们三位就出了家可是呢出家在中国是女中呢就不是第一个选择 啊，当时在那个时候，现在有选华商人呢，他呢不同，不同。你看今天我们就僧团大会在发中，这个一百个比丘呢，多少个比丘呢？二十个。所以多五倍啊，女众看到选华商人给他们开的门，就说我要。这是我要发大菩提心，我愿意度一切众生。就现在有这个机会在发展我们所有的道场，因为这是上人的道风，所以呢，女众呢就很多因为发菩提心，所以出了家，不是说哎呀我的先生就往生了，我的儿子已经出
人间眷属佛国魔，由来大圣多坎坷，待至彼岸回头看，反迷归觉谢提婆。When viewed from a Buddha land, family and kin can seem like demons. The great sage recognized his relatives were obstacles to his liberation. After he reached the other shore and turned his head to look back, the Buddha thanked Devadatta for helping him turn from confusion and wake up. Oh, how do we explain that? Wow, powerful. Renjian Juan Shu Fu Guo Mo, how do we say? Ah, yo. 师傅这么消极，不是不是，大家要看清楚，就说我们的眷属，就是我们的六亲眷属，跟我们最密切的关系了。他们当然就为我们好，我们呃一离开，他们都苦了。那个是一个家庭的好坏，就在这种亲切的关系，这个心里边的执着了。你出了家。呃、uh, ，不是为了这个身体，不是为了情感，出了家不是为了一种呃、uh, 密切这种呃、uh, 这个人伦的，出了家是要看破放下啊， uh, 障碍我们能发菩提心，可以说是一个魔，那就是这个意思，人间眷属。反过来，从出家人的看法来讲，那就变成魔，障碍我们修行。啊，由来大圣多坎坷，哈、啊，就说 ，from 就是从佛陀的看法，大圣就是佛，啊，他们就变成障碍。其实从佛的自己本身故事，我们知道他在度他的太太，他的儿子。他也是给他爸爸抬着棺材，所以是一个孝子。待至彼岸，回头看，嗯，就说啊、呃，你已经到了这个彼岸，已经得到涅槃了。回头看，应该说啊，提、呃、婆达多害佛的身体，他自己的是 cousin 还是 cousin 哈、啊、呀？ Yeah. 就变成一个反面的善知识，从得到解脱之后回来，所以人这个什么意思呢？就在道场里边了。如果你跟某某比丘比丘尼啊，或是居士啊，好像有呃敌对的关系、冲突了，他们可能是当提婆达多来。从反面帮助你，让你知道这个啊，好朋友并不一定是好事情。如果他会障碍我们修行 ，so let's take a look here. What does what does it say? It says, viewed from a Buddha land, family and kin can seem like demons. What's the point? It's just that、um, the best part about a family is how how much they care about us, how much they how Tight, they cling. That's the best part about people who are close to us.、Um, from the point of view of cultivation, where we seek to set aside and go beyond relations to the real source of our lives inside these bodies, someone clinging to us, someone in love with a family tie, can seem like an obstacle. That's what it means. So, if they're going to block us from liberation, that's what demons do. So, in a manner of speaking, they seem like demons.、It、says the Buddha saw that relatives were obstacles to his liberation. So he, the prince, before he became the Buddha,、uh, woke up and saw that in the end he was going to die. He wasn't going to maybe even outlive his wife and. Because men usually go first, and then his wife was what? His wife was going to be a widow, and have sorrow, feel terrible. What's the point of that? And so that the prince asked himself, "Is there anything more to life than this? 
And that awareness propelled him over the wall of the palace to leave home, to, to cultivate the way. So after he reached the other shore, turned his head and looked back, what did he see? He said, oh, actually, my cousin who was trying to kill me on numerous occasions was actually my friend, helping me quickly, more quickly, get past my attachments to, to kin and clan. So that's how that, that's the way. Scherf was writing this from the point of view of, uh, course, of uh, cultivation. So, and everything's different. The, the, the marketplace, what does the marketplace tell us? Marketplace says, you know, you deserve a break today. So get out and get away to McDonald's where you'll eat some mass produced pseudo meat, which will bring cancer to your body and poverty to your, to your wallet. Take a break. You deserve it. And that's advertising based on greed designed to profit someone else. And from that, from the point of view of cultivation, um, all advertising is to tell you, you need, you are insufficient Buy my product and you will be happy and fulfilled, right? Well, that's not true. That's just not true. That's a lie, but it's a useful lie for the marketplace. Buddhism gives us this different perspective on almost every aspect of public life, which is use wisdom and look past the surface and see if that claim is true. Is it really the case that you can buy your way to happiness? At a certain point, if your heart is hollow, uh, you won't be satisfied. Don't it always seem to go that you don't know what you got till it's gone? And Buddhism says, find out what we got because we still have it. And if you cultivate, you can value it and realize the true riches of inner sufficiency. Be content with few desires. So this is the story today. The story is like, mm. you want to say, yay, they left home. But why did they leave home? They left home because they were broken hearted. Well, that's better than maybe you know, look at what Scherfu wrote. He's writing about David Dada, who was a terrible, uh, murderous relative to the prince. And yet after he woke up, the Buddha said, thank you for helping me let go of thinking that life was good. From the point of view of Scherfu's verse, who is Master Shuyin? He was David Dada to his two wives. I mean, how awful to be married to a husband who runs away. <laughs> Loser. Oh, your husband ran away. Oh. Every time they go to the market, they go, uh huh, mm -hmm. how are things at home? <laughs> you know, they have to hang their heads. But by his showing them that they can leave home, and by giving the model himself, he allowed them to wake up to the reality of their lives in the Saha world. Chongfor 虚幻的这种快乐的苦海里边
，啊、呃，能在极乐世界求到喜乐，啊、呃，见到西方极乐世界的阿弥陀佛。嗯，所以哦，很有意思，很有意思。那我们就把这个故事比较起来，我们现在是，呃，在哪里？嗯 ，So we take the story and ask ourselves. Uh, how are we doing uh, with uh, our understanding of the world? Is are we? Do we understand it? Do we see it clearly? What are we looking at? We're looking at Chun Qin Wang Fu in Beijing, which is called Bei Fu. This is the Qin Dynasty's last king who died in Beijing. This is in Beijing. 靠近后海那里，呃，我们这次到了北京参加呃宗教局，还有啊、呃、这个出版社就在那边开会啊、呃、几天了，很有很有趣的。这个是呃那个呃光绪皇帝啊、呃、，Let's see here， 啊、呃、全球王父代孙之子溥仪继承大同后。四处顺亲王府，已成为乾隆帝啊。Uh, so this is the、uh, place where the last emperor of the Qin Dynasty was born. We had meetings there, Beijing. You're just seeing this imperial palace in front of your eyes. Quite amazing. Okay, now with all of the、um, the preliminaries getting going, we only had time for one story. Usually we'll try to do two.、Uh, next week we'll hear from, we'll hear about what's what's next week's. Let's see here. Um, 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 um. Bring it up here. Next week's is he decides that he's going to leave the monastery and go out into the forest again. To cultivate Ku Xin, a、uh, very powerful decision. He goes out and he almost becomes like an immortal. He doesn't he doesn't have to eat anymore. He can run all day. He's like the wind out in the mountains.、Uh, another important part of his life. We will next week. Ah, 本来要讲两个故事，没错，因为今天就开始比较，呃，比较多事哈。那么下个礼拜我们讲两个比较活泼一点。嗯，虚云老和尚他又离开道场，就到了深山里面去修苦行。啊、嗯，下个礼拜。Okay, so thank you. This is an hour-long lecture series. Do you like、uh, Joey? Let me show you, introduce you to my friend Joey. There he is. He's pretty much every day about four o'clock. He's over by one o two. Isn't he cute? You can't tell. He was in his mother's pouch just a month ago, but she kicked him out. You're too big. You're too big. You can't crawl in there anymore. 就两个月啊，一个月前，他就在母亲那个大人书的袋子里边了。然后母亲说：“你太大了，要自己站起来了。”哦 ，So there he is. Okay, time for. I was going to share a story、um, about. Singing "Beizi Pulodi" at the Buddhist Studies Academy in Beijing, but we ran out of time. 就在呃中国佛学院又唱了这个徐老和尚。来不及了，呃，就下个礼拜再说。很多故事，呃，从我们这次去中国。Okay, so, 跟两百个年轻的佛学院的学生一起唱那首歌很好听。Singing that song with two hundred young students from the Buddhist Studies Academy was a was a kick. That was fun. Here we go. Dedication of merit. Are we ready? 我们都回向功德了哈。See you all next week. Thank you for joining. Appreciate it very much. Thank、you
every living being. Our words are sworn and radiant with light. Share the fruits of peace with thoughts of goodness, luminous and bright. If people hear and see, hands and hearts can find in keeping unity. May our minds away to bring compassion, wisdom, and to come. May God's find reward. May all of sorrow be their grief and May this boundless light dispel the darkness of our endless night. Because our hearts are one, this pain turns into paradise. May all be good, compassionate, and one. May all be good, compassionate, and one. May all be good, compassionate, and one. And before we leave, we can bow right from where you're sitting if you want to do a half bow. Here we go. Bow to the Buddhas. First bow. Second bow. Good bow. And bow in respect to the Venerable Master. Already, that will do it for us for today. Amitofo. See you all next week. Bye, everybody.